Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. As always, this channel, as well as, you know, my vibration is truly protected and being guided. Any any ill will that you're trying to project or inject into me, it will not be allowed here. So it will be turned back to sender, except this will be a vibrations of loving, loving, healing, and uplift towards your way that's truly needed. Um, the video that I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, pay attention to your truth of strategy. Everything everything you're needing is staring you right dead in your face. And it is so true. Because a lot of times we can be so focused on, oh, how, you know, how am I going to get out of this funk? Or, you know, how am I going to get, uh, allow myself to let go of things that are not, no longer serving me? And a lot of times, it's just the fact is you, we, we can stay focused on the wrong thing for so long that it is just like the truth is that everything we're searching for is already within you know because there's a lot of times it's like when we stay focused on that it's like what is that really telling you you know get your power back whatever power that was injected with whatever is going on that you know keeps finding that trigger within you is allowing you to bring to the surface what we truly need to heal on and there are so many different things where you know it's like trust your gut you know, there's a lot of different things that's taking place into your life where it's telling you, hey, you know, th these are the type of people. This is not your type of vibe of people. You know, you need to change. You know, you need to change your circle. Because I always say quick as quick as I don't know what. Now, everybody in your circle is not, every, you know, not everybody in your circle is in your corner. You know, there'll be different times like vibes change every day. You can be that person, like you can be a right hand man, and then they sit up here trying to design your own noose to hang you with it. You got to be very careful when you do that. Ooh, this is just like I must say, it's not supposed to, but this is like my dad on nose just tickles real quick, and that you know it's true. You have to. There's a lot of time where it's like universe is telling you you need this alone time. We need solitude, and it's like a lot of times we can really hate being that way, and you don't realize when you can allow yourself to be okay with being by yourself. That is showing so much power within you. You know, I just be that type of person where you know I'll look back on life where I used to go to the club. You know, back when I was living in the Midwest, and I used to go to the club with my homegirls like Thursday through Saturday. We already on Wednesday. We already talking about what club of clothes we gonna wear. Where we going to the store? We, you know, where we gonna get our discount? Cause we have friends that sit up here and work in different places. Like, hey, you got, we got to hook up. You know, and different things like that. And now it's just like. It's like since I moved down south, like every time I went to the club, it was a shootout. I don't rip my dress, you know, rip, you know, uh, bust the heel. It would be different things. Like you want to go to the club? No, I don't even like being around a lot of people like that. I said I'm a, uh, you know, it's like when we're a light bringer, and it's just like how are we gonna be light bringers and we supposed to be helping healing people and we really don't like people at all? You know, I be mean? just just like that. And I used to always have to feel like that. You know, I always need this friend to talk to. I'm, I'm going through different things. Now I'm at that stage in my life where I can give an uplift towards people and just go about my business. You know, you never know. It's just like you don't realize you don't have to be so into somebody's vibration just to connect with them like that. You don't need people all the way into your vibration just to connect like that. Because I used to have a different vibe where it was like a lot of people that was coming into my life. And not saying everybody, you know, um, there's a lot of people that came into my life where we were just on the, on the same vibe. And next thing you know, it was some, you know, you, you, the vibe, you know, it was all of a sudden you can, you know, I've got, I guess I've gone through it so much. You would feel daggers coming back at you for no particular reason. It is just like, and that was just the universe saying, hey, you, you learn whatever you need to learn from that person. You know, you, you awaken whatever part of them that they needed just like they did with you. Now the lessons learned. The, the connection is expired. Now it's time to go. Now it's at that point where I keep people to an existence, you know, a, a distance. Even though universe like, why do you need to stop doing that? I'm like, I understand what you're saying, but I'm tired of going through the same boat with other people all the time. That mess is getting old for me. It's being re really redundant. You know, I, I, I just don't have time for all that. And now it's just like... I can just hey you know I it made me feel good when I it's just I can have that person on my mind and I know they're going through something heavy I don't need to know 
exactly what it is but it's just like I'll send something just to take their mind off of that negativity they're going through today or I'll send something towards their mind that uh you know um where it can call them back I can act goofy with somebody it, it can even be an enemy where I can act goofy with you just to get you out of that vibration or where you seem like you're trying to get up under my skin today and be just like that or even enemy just be quiet you know and it, it's just like when I allow myself to see how much my situations even when when they just you know flopped in my face or I just felt like I was really just cut you know and, and, and you know you just handed a knife to somebody and they straight cut you for no apparent reason and a lot of times I had to allow myself to know stop taking this personal because you're awakening something sometimes with people that they don't want to work on they don't want to allow themselves to hold themselves accountable for they don't want to be honest because it's just like truth of the matter is I've been that way because I'm not going to sit up here and say everybody been that way that I met with and I didn't allow myself to say there will be different times where people let go of me because I was still stuck on that same vibration of talking about the same thing over and over again. They were like, damn, she cool. But then when I started seeing all this stuff on the side and it really made me look back and stuff like that. And there will be sometimes I was like, oh, I was so embarrassed. I was like that. But it's just like don't allow yourself to be shamed of those situations because now it's like you are allowing yourself to highlight that vibration on what seeing how much you don't really changed yourself because of situations you've been in that was the truth of strategy of when it's saying you don't see how many you, you don't flip the script on your own self so many times in a good way it even shot the mess out of you because a lot of times we'll be like where well, we're not exactly where we want to be at and it's just like god done forgot about me he you know, had me putting all this out and i really ain't getting nothing back and it was just like you, you just don't know when he about to open that door for you, you know, and it's just like look how much your situations have changed you Not you know for the negative but see that in a positive on how many different things that has changed in your life for a positive Now it's like, you know, I'm at that person where I can enjoy my solitude because it was showing me I needed to become my best friend with myself. I needed to place that love into myself stop allowing myself to have to look for you know different people to valid validate me or I had so so many people I had to prove you know what I was saying was true all these different things because it's just like when God opened that truth of a door they meant for a release you know if you don't know now you know you know be like different now it's like dad you didn't you know this if you don't know now you know you know it'll be at that point and it's allowing myself to love myself you know it'll be just in different times where It'll be just the devil energy. It's like, hey, we need you to go, you know, tell that person something. We already know you don't block them out, but we need you to come back. And it'll be different things where even, even you know, it could be a connection of a, a loved one that passed on. And it's just like, you know, I really need them to be in your, you, you know, your corner. I need you to be in their corner. And it'll be different times like, you know, I'm even thinking that, you, you know, that spirit would be like that. But they know that had to be a good connection with you and that person because it's like, y'all can really take each other to that next level. But if that person's not ready for that, I, I can't force that. So it'll be just different times where I had to just leave that door closed. Like, yeah, I know. And I'll be, you know, trying to go back into the universe like, no. <laughs> no and no you know your strategy is all showing right dead in your face where different things are changing in your life where you can sit back self-assess and, and just reflect on things things like that I'm probably they telling you to celebrate yourself on every day you don't overturn something it'll be just a different time where you can be so focused on what the enemy is doing to you and then when you can allow yourself to know because that's ego that's fear that's darkness that's the devil they want you to stay like that enemy they want you to stay like that and be just like you know what they don't show me so much within myself it shocked me you know and it, it's just like there there's so many things that you know that that fear wanted me to stay distracted from they wanted me you know to get more distance from my own self on what I really needed that was my strategy of changing this is my strategy of transmuting and you're going through these di different things every day even the littlest the littlest change within your life they want you to celebrate that even the the better you're becoming even though you ain't exactly where you need to be at celebrate that it took a lot to get where you are you know, if you were that daggone type of person who always had to be seen, always had to be heard, always needed that attention. Now it's just like, hey, I'm here. I'm showing up my, for myself. You know, I'm showing up for myself. It ain't got to be for you. It ain't got to be for her. It ain't got to be for him. It ain't got to be for them. I'm showing up for myself. 
that's something that you can sit up here and congratulate because now you're living for the love of you when you can sit up here and tell people i've been through this i don't overcome this where i stay focused on this and god lured me you you know spirit guides my loved ones you know people i met with that really wanted to see the good in me even the ones that want to see the bad in me help me change my vibration of where i needed to go Strengthening myself through the only weakness of moment, seeing the lightness in the midst of the darkness, being able to sh show my true power within myself when I was docile in weakness. You know, and it would be so many different things where it's telling you all you're searching for is within. All you're searching for is just showing you within yourself. Because it'd be sometimes we it, we get in panic mode because it's just like you feel like, oh my God, I'm not ready for this yet. Because there'll be sometimes. Where we'll be right on the brink of, of, of a breakthrough and we will fall back just because we can say, I deserve this, I deserve that, I worked hard for this, I worked hard for that. But that energy we project out is not matching what we're saying we're deserving of because a lot of times we'll fall back because we're like, what if I, I don't have what it takes? You know, what, you know, and then open the door. You know, I've been like that and being in a situation where I know something was coming, all of a sudden I pulled out a cigarette. Knowing good and well. I need to stop that or I'll go roll up a, a blunt just to have me some herb or whatever just to get my mind right because I was you know it felt like my head was in the clouds I'm like fool you really put your head in the cloud what you doing <laughs> you know just this is not for you if it can be for other people and there's no judgment towards anybody who do that it's just not meant for me anymore you know it could be, it'd be different time people like rise you know I remember you always really stressed about the times that you used to you know you used to be on herb all the time you used to be up there with Shaba and, you know like Bob Marley and stuff like that when when did you know to not do that anymore when there's time for you to ask that question when you ask that question that was that time where this is your turning point where, where it's like you know a lot of I always tell people I don't place judgment on nobody because there's we we have all not all of us but i'll say well it's a yes and no because a lot of us had some kind of mirror of addictions to try to get through hardship try to get through trauma drama different things that we have dealt with we had a lot of us had that you could be biting on your nails you could be that one that's self-afflict and self-harm you could be that person that have eating disorders or you could be that person that you know out of nerves you know just pick with things you know um or you could be that person that, you know, pop pills, you know, or you drink or, you know, you do something that what makes you fall back into those terms because it's hard to really digest the things that you were facing, digest what you were going through. And you need something to kind of ease that. And they're telling you, you really want to heal. You have to be able to allow yourself to feel that mess as rough as it is, you know, and it's scary to really be able to do that. But they're telling you, you have to have that confidence in yourself to be able to do it without that. Because there'll be times where I've been recently going through stuff and I had to really reflect on it. There'll be times I done popped off with God, popped off with universe. And they were like, we just glad you bring it towards us instead of somebody else and I had to really think about that it was like damn you know I just thought about that because I always felt like I had to always communicate with other people and sometimes that's really good to do but there's a lot of times where people are hoping you know there'll be a lot of times where people will play something on you and they'll come back just to see if that mess is working and it'll be that person that you thought you were really seeing eye to eye with and it's just like no no, they will put something on you and be like, hey, how you doing today? You feeling good? You ain't, that, you ain't heard from you in a while. And they were just trying to, let me see if this mess don't really work. Let me go ahead and come in. And there'll be different times where I don't felt that. And they'd be like, dang, on, I had to cut another folk out of my life. It was like, but now you seem you don't clear yourself out. You are to see when somebody ain't coming at you and ain't coming at you correct. They coming back to you just to see if what they did to you was actually taking effect of you. Take them out. <clears throat> go ahead. They'll be all right. You know, then when they notice you ain't replying back to them and stuff like that, they gonna know like that. You know, found out about what I was doing. They're messing with the church's money. You know, build different those things like that. You are seeing the strategy that is right in front of your face. You're going through these huge transmutations. And they're telling yourself, celebrate yourself. Really see what you you looking forward to. What's that's in store for you? And a lot of times it's hard to really see that because it's like we be wanting. You know, we want proof and confirmation so quick that we want it in, in, in like physical. But it's just like, yeah, that's just anybody you want to see what you're working on is physical, especially when you put in work for it. 
you know, not just up here putting it on paper and you waiting for that mess to fall on your lap, but you really putting in work. Because it's like, you'll, you'll hear the universe, they'll come into you in so many different ways. You could be on, you know, uh, IG or something like that or, you know, TikTok or something like that. You'll hear somebody say, you know what, universe is proud of you. Or you'll see a thing like God is saying to you today, we know you're tired. We see how the devil be in the midst of your storms every single day. And we trying to bring that rain or that sun. You even see a rainbow. You see doves. You know, see ravens. Ravens is bringing some kind of information towards you. You see butterflies. You know, different things. That, you know, different birds that come flying by you every day. You can be going out on a walk or you can be at a stop sign. And next, you know, you see something just swoop in front of you just to get your attention. You know, all these different things where universe is speaking to you on a universal language. And they're telling you, understand the strategy. And everything is right in front of you. All these different things you're growing, you're learning. You know, and you're strategically flowing with it. Even when it's hard for you to do that, because sometimes we, we can get to that point where we get ahead of ourselves and they say, hey, you know, it takes pride, you know, it takes patience, it's like, uh, uh, whatever. You know, I hate that word patience because that's like a cuss word to me. And then it's like patience, you know, trust the process. I'm like, why are you cursing at me? No, like, why are you being so? Because it takes time. I'm a Taurus. You know, I got Gemini, Leo, Scorpio in mine. You know, Cancer, a little bit of Pisces on me, Aquarius, you know, Aries, you know, all that. It's like when you wrap all that together, it's like you got an alpha female. That, that's dangerous. What are you doing? <laughs> but it's just like I had to be able to be patient with that. You know, allowing myself. You know, I used to be very timid. Like, oh, I want to put this out because, you know, I already know I got some people out there trying to block blessings. It's just like you just showing them, them enemies, they got power over you. Now, you know, if you being confident, you ain't being cocky, you ain't being arrogant, you ain't trying to smear nothing in nobody's face. Because if you in that mindset, when you know you speak in truth and you stand in your power, that's going to be intimidation all day. You ain't got to do all that. You know, when they, they, it's like your enemies don't know when you trying to sit up here and say, nan, nan, the boo boo. But when you allowing yourself to stand truth in your power, not worrying about how it's affecting people, because you, you already know. In your mind, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to admire you for the power you project towards other people. And you standing in your power. There's going to be people that are just going to be, you know, invested in that. Like, I need to hook up with them because they really giving me that drive. There will be certain people I even watch on YouTube. I could be in that funk and just hear that that vibration they're projecting towards me. And I can have so many emotions like, thank you, I needed that. Because I found myself going backwards. And there will be somebody that's already catapulted me to where I fell back two paces. And they don't push me back about, you know, push me forward, project me forward like 20, you know, 20, uh, 20 paces. And just being blessed with that because you're going through so many changes in your life. Some you were expecting, some you weren't expecting. So many different things that shows you in plain, you know, universal language you can make sense of. And stuff will be sitting up here having you stuck in confusion. You're like, boy, I'm being remedial today. What is going on with me? And the other ones is like, oh, thank you, universe. I truly understand what you're saying. Because a lot of times they will allow certain things to come up. And it's just like, you know, like I say, that there's it, a lot of things that will come up. It will be certain things that really hurt you. It really was very trivial trivial to you. It's like, why does this keep coming up? You want me to heal from this thing. Why does it keep coming up in my timeline? Because these are the things you are still holding on to. You are still giving that situation and those people power. You need to take your power back. You know, and whatever they placed in you, you take that back. And you sit and you, you give appreciation towards that. Because they showed you, you know, you, there's a lot of times where we got to be in that universal understanding, universal language. We have to understand we're generational curse, uh, curse breakers, okay? There, it's like our parents aren't perfect. You know, there's a lot of different things that happen where, you you know, you ready to just be a New Jersey headhunter ready to cut off some different day on parents that really did some mess to you. But you have to understand something must have been done to them that's been done to them. It's been done to them, you know, and it be done, 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 done. You, you know, it, it, it don't happen, you know, and it get, got to get to that point where you have to stop allowing that because a lot of times we will find something angry about because we feel like we don't have that strength to keep moving forward, keep going to that next one. As soon as I said that, it's like 1919. You, you going forward We will do that when it gets very uncomfortable because it, it's just like there's a lot of us that still hold that fear. To the unknown, we don't know what's around that corner. We don't have belief in whatever God promises. He's going, he's going to succeed on that. 
you know because it would be the enemy want to make you feel like all oh, the power is within them no in actuality it is the power within you they just want you to convince that they got that power over you and these are those different things where you're having that universal language universal timeline highlighted timeline or strategy that shows all in front of you and they're really wanting you to understand yourself in full form you don't understand yourself to the core because you're still you, you know we're all still going through that and you'll start noticing where you are more comfortable in that solitude because it's just like i love being able to be in that solitude i can be able to say you know what i need to say be able to talk to god on my different language you know because a lot of times you got ears around it you're trying to figure out what they can do you know to be able to stop you and stuff like that you have to be careful you know and it's just like, you know, the universe will tell you you ain't supposed to be scared of man-made things. You a God-fearing person. That's the only thing I fear is God. I don't fear man whatsoever. But it's just like, it takes common sense. You can't let the left hand know what the right hand doing. You moving in silence. You ain't telling nobody what you doing. A lot of times you got to go in the back cave and re-strategize. It'll be different times I'll do that. You know, just to have that self-reflection. Just allow yourself to heal. Just allow yourself to understand you a lot more deeper. It ain't about you understanding other people to a certain extent. We have to understand other people to a certain extent. Let me allow myself to retort about that because there's a lot of times we have to understand everybody is dealing with some stuff. Whether they want to say it or not, they want to admit it or not. There's a lot of people that are understanding that you have to understand people are dealing with their own issues. People are dealing with their own flaws. People are dealing with their own hurts. People are dealing with their own pain. But you have to understand everybody deal with them in a different way. There'll be different times where people just stay closed off and don't want to be bothered. You have to respect that. There'll be different times people want to project towards things like that. You have to respect that. You know, and just allow yourself to go on. It, it, it's just like, you know, sometimes you get mad. Like, I'm really trying to get that person open, you know, open to, to talk about things. And it would be just like, they ain't going to open up and talk to you because they already know the reason why they're going through is because of stuff they keep putting on you. They ain't going to talk about that, you know. Or there'll be different times that people just don't feel... Like, they don't understand what's going on through them. You have to be able to understand that. And you just send blessings towards that way. You know, you still trying to understand your, your universal love language within yourself on the strategies that's staring you in your face. Because it's like, whatever we're looking for is already within. You know, we understand. We, we tend to understand more. And a lot of times, you it's just like, I'll be telling myself, you got to dumb it down dot com a lot of times. You be a little bit remedial. Sometimes you got to go through things about four or five times. Ten times, you know, just to understand what God's trying to tell you. You know, stop focusing so much on the future because it ain't here. Stop focusing on the past, past because it's no longer here. We in here in the now. You got to stay focused on the now. All that past done taught you a lot about yourself. You're your own, <laughs> your own teacher on those things. But your future is like what you're transforming into, transmuting into is your, 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 you know, your inspiration. Of gratification you know being able to do that because it's like you are growing so much you are understanding so many different things in a different way because it's just like if I would be looking back like six seven years back and they would have told me I was doing this I've been busting out laughing because I'll be so I'll be one of those ones that I mean people my, it was like people that I was cool with it'd be like I was like why did you say that to a person they were like why are you acting like you don't like them because I'm like because I don't <laughs> I'm not going to act like I do because I don't. You know, I said, you can be okay sitting up here pretending like you love that person. Even though you low-key trying to strike some kind of tragedy in their daggone life. Me, I'm going to just run up on it. You give me that chance to. And I'll give any, any kind of ammunition just to be able to do that. You know, I said, I'll be looking at my parents. They're like, two Geminis, both alphas. What the hell were y'all thinking? And y'all end up making my, my behind. You know, and be just thinking like, ooh, you know, that's a whole hot mess ready to happen. And I used to be that way. Now it's just like. You can be that way, but where, where does that get you? Where does that really get you? You know, you being hateful towards people like that. I'm like, no, nah, I really don't like you. and You are dangerous for my health. I'm going to go ahead and back up and allow you to do whatever you need to do. And be that way and just let it go. You know, be, you know you're going to have different people that are in your life that, you know, throw a rock and hide their hand. You know, if you ain't that type of person, it's just like, you are, what do they say? You know, the goat is like the black, black sheep of the family are eventually come to go. Because you all see the difference between the line of everything, you know, been calling BS. Like, I call bullshit <laughs> with you, you, and you. You know, it's like, I, you're cool, you're cool, you gotta go, I'm out. 
you know, and just be that type of person. You were that truth teller. You can see in between the line of stuff. That don't mean you got to address it all the time. A lot of times it's like, you got that memo note? Yeah. You, you peek that out? Yeah. All right. Handle yourself accordingly. You know? And it'll be just even with people into your life. A lot of times you don't need to give announcements. You know? Not, it'll be just a different people that I just blocked you. Just didn't even give you a reason. But it, it was just because you, you, you don't show yourself too many times. And it was time for me to go. Other people that it was just like, you know what? It's... it's our, our time is just expired and you got this, you know, and it'll be just different things. There'll be certain people. It, it's, it's just been a lot of people I had to just disconnect from and I didn't even want to do that. But when my gut was telling me like, hey, you, 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 this is be that situation just to just test out your intuition, your intuitive, your gut. Are you going to just keep on this, you know, what, what do they call that? Uh. Allowing yourself to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Because you'd be like, where's the red flags? Fool, the red flags was right there. We kept showing it to you and you kept going like I understand their life. That's just like you looking at, you seeing a person as a dolphin. And now they coming at you like a barracuda. What are you doing? <laughs> it's like God be just like, okay, you just going to have to learn the hard way. I keep trying to tell you and then you're going to be coming up to me like, God, oh, I know. I try to tell you and I'm, I'm still going to, I'm going to. Teach, you know, teach you and I'll rub you back and you're just like, this time when I, when I tell you something, listen. I was just trying to tell you and you didn't want to listen and that's the, you know, because we all have been down that route. I have been, I'm like, girl, times I don't sit up here and, and been in the back of a lot of police cars because the fact is I kept doing what I was doing. Now, I'm like, uh uh, you already said, mm mm, I'll skip that mess real quick. I'll curve that real quick. Yeet me going the other way because I already seen this is going to make me have a smile in my mugshot. I'm not trying to do that. It's like that best side is this side. I'm not trying to do that. I don't have enough of being in there with Johnny Lawson up here peeling ice taters in a cross bar hotel. I don't need to be there. It's like the orange is not the new black, the white, or the blue for me. I'm good. You know, that's some kind of th style trend that I had to put up a long time ago. You know, and be in one of those situations. But allowing yourself to really understand the universal highlight of the strategy, your strategy of truth, is staring right in front of you. A lot of times if we're in our emotions, sometimes it's hard for us to stay focused. It's hard for us to really think straight when we got a lot going on. It's just like that's when you got a woo saw, rub on the earlobes, you know, it, it be you know, go call Mr. Miyagi, whatever, and just allow yourself to do that breathing method. What is this situation trying to tell me? Why is it this situation that still is bothersome to me? What is it that I can control? What I cannot? What can I change? And what can I not? What is it that I need to accept out of this situation? Let me go ahead and pull my power back and release whatever, you know, that I left myself open to do. And when we do that, things start making a lot more sense. And you'll be strengthening within your strategy. That was standing right in front of your face. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Ash the Tea Time. Much love to you as well. And Kate, much love to you. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, we're all student to a teacher experience, learning and supporting each other in so many ways. You know, uh, being able to do things, acknowledge, you know, un unconsciously and subconsciously. You know, we're all being a part of each other's uh, come up. We're all being a part of each other's love and support and healing, showing the light in the midst of the darkness. I love to be able to do that. Any way I can help, I'll try my best to be able to do that. Whatever we discuss, it will all be indiscreet. And help out the best way I can. If you're into podcasting, if you can't get into my videos, I always drop. You know, uh, podcasting is on my community section of my channel. Um, I haven't did none in a while. I'm going to start back doing those again. Um, and if you're into that, or even if you're thinking about podcasting, please hit me up. I know exactly which, which you know, uh, which uh, app to use. It's like what I use is very simple. You know, so I'm not, you know, tech savvy on all those different things. And that one is so easy to do. And I truly enjoy it. Like I said, this is like my my uh therapeutic vibe is making my videos it's just like i share my you know my views my experiences with my family 
you know, even with my enemies as well, you know, we're all going through a vibration of transition and whether you like it or not, <laughs> we're all doing that. But it's just to be able to be good where it's very th therapeutic for me and I love to be able to do that. You know, um, whatever uh, you're going through, you know, you're going to get through that. If you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, you know, Cash App is there as well. You know, whatever you're trying to... Uh, push out into fruition within your manis you know hey you know whatever vibration you're needing that encouragement i'm sending towards that 20 million times fold whatever you got to do it to do it you got it whatever is needed you know stay stay woke on yourself don't ever sleep you know keep being persistent consistent being dedicated and motivated and being truly determined you know within yourself because it's just like a lot of things are going to come towards you and make you second guess whatever you're trying to push out will never come to fruition which is a whole lot it will you just had to be consistent with it no matter how long it takes and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that trust me I've been doing this six years and you know I still love what I do there will just be times I just have to be able to take a break and you know just be able to allow myself to regroup but I truly love what I do you know um right now it's just like so many different things is coming out where it's telling us hey you need to rest you know we've been going through years and years of programming you know going through uh many years of letting go what is truly not serving us and a lot of times it's like when you when you undoing all the things that have been done you know you learn learning you know, dropping everything and learning all over again. That takes a lot of energy out of you. So it's just like if something comes up and tells you to rest, do that. If you're hearing retreat, you're seeing rest. You're seeing certain numbers like 722. 6464 four, is time for you to rest, regroup, reflect, and, you know, time to get to business. But... I hope you're able to do that, you know, even through, you know, social distancing. Please give out love, light, positivity, words, wide frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. And, you know, please be safe and responsible at every single thing you do. I hope every day that you have is productive and it takes you further than you were before. And much love to you. Namaste. Love and light. I say shalom. Uh, what else is it? Much love to you and peace. See you on my next video, or you'll see me on my next video. Much love.